My name is Maria Corina Machado. I'm a member of the Parliament of Venezuela. I'm honored and grateful for the opportunity to participate in the 18th Forum 2000. My admiration goes out to those who have fought for democracy and have brought freedom to formerly oppressed peoples in countries throughout the world. You have taught our generation that even the most powerful and cruel regimes can be stopped with the strength of people power. In Venezuela, our generation grew up in democracy, and we thought that freedom was inherited. We took it for granted. We've learned a vital lesson. Freedom and democracy must be conquered every day by every single generation. The Chavista regime has been in power for the last 15 years. 15 years in which Venezuela has seen the largest oil windfall in our history. 15 years during which we've also seen the most systematic destruction of institutions, of our economic production capacity, and the respect for human and civic rights. This has been done with a sole purpose, to maintain the regime in power. They need to have a society dependent on government, on the state. They need to destroy all individual autonomy. In order to do this, the regime has tried to break our spirit, to censor the truth, to make us fearful and distrustful of one another. At the same time, the regime needed to create a democratic facade in order to gain legitimacy, both inside and outside our country. In February of this year, in the absence of any institutional means through which channel national discontent, citizens went to the streets to peacefully protest and raise their voices. In this moment, the regime's facade finally fell. The brutal repression, censorship, persecution, tortures, and death that followed revealed to the world what we Venezuelans have known for long. We live in a dictatorship, and like all dictatorships, this one fears truth. This is why I cannot be at the forum with you today. Since day one, I've been an advocate of human rights, democracy, and freedom, and a firm critic of this regime. Because of that, I've been accused of terrorism, treason, and homicide. I have several threats of prison, and even my children have been threatened. In March of this year, I spoke before the Permanent Council of the Organization of American States to denounce the massive and systematic violation of human rights in Venezuela. In consequence of this event, Lieutenant Diosdado Cabello, President of Venezuela and National Assembly, ousted me from the Parliament violating Venezuelan constitution and international laws, but most gravely violating popular sovereignty of Venezuelan citizens. These acts of oppression only reveal the desperation of a regime that knows its legitimacy is lost, that knows its only strength is violence, that knows its support can only be bought. These are the acts of a regime that fears the people. But the people have lost their fear. During 15 years, we, the people of Venezuela, have fought against an extremely powerful and scrupulous regime. We have demonstrated we have the courage, the strength, the vision, and the trust in our own power to make change happen. At this critical hour, we ask you, Democrats and leaders of the world, to stand beside us and to be part of this thrilling transition to democracy that will take place in Venezuela.